So the mad lad has actually been convicted on all criminal counts. In fact, it's so crazy right now, guys, that this is the only thing in the news as it currently stands. So obviously, I'm going to talk about it, mainly from the financial side of things, not necessarily the political side. Mainly, I'm going to talk about the percentage that you're seeing right there in regards to the stock DJT. Because this is proving a point that I made a few a few weeks ago. And that is the fact that DJT, the stock, it is strictly correlated to what is going to happen with Donald Trump. So we're going to talk about that today and the implications as to what could happen in November. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really does help her with the algorithm on YouTube as well as Rumble. Make sure to follow us on X. And of course, if you would like to join us on the Discord, share your thoughts, what your trades are, that kind of stuff. Make sure to ask in the comment section below and we'll send you a link. So with that said, let's get started with this video. So the main thing to take away here is the fact that, yeah, Donald Trump was convicted on all of these counts. All 34, pretty much unanimous. Now, whether you have your own opinions on, on that, y'all know mine. Obviously, y'all know I like Trump. I support Trump. Uh, Hispanic, by the way, obviously. So Latinos for Trump all the way. But here's the thing that there's definitely something to, uh, to take out of this. And that is the fact that Trump Media Technology, DJT, is down 8%. Uh, after hours on Thursday, after the New York jury found former President Trump guilty on all 34 counts in a criminal trial. Now, the reason why this is important is because, well, we know the fact that Donald Trump holds majority of this stock. Essentially, when you're buying the DJT, you are you're essentially buying shares of the Donald. That's basically what you're doing. You're not buying shares of the company. You're essentially... You're essentially buy, buying shares of Donald Trump. And the fact that this is strictly correlated with the actions or I guess the events that just occurred proves to me one point. And that is the fact that depending on, on what happens in November, this stock could go bankrupt or it could skyrocket 200%. Absolutely, it could skyrocket 200%, assuming that he does win. So let's take a look at this. Um, as of uh, today, we can see that it gained 1.41% post-market. It's 6.13. So it has rebounded up a little bit, but it's still fallen a decent amount. Now, when it comes to this overall graph, as we can see over here, this thing peaked at $79.38. But then it went as low as, after the peak anyways, then it went as low as around uh, $22.84. And then a, a nice rebound after that. Again, the main thing to take away from here is the fact that this stock is strictly correlated to the events that happens around Donald Trump. So with the election coming in on November 5th, which, by the way, make sure to vote if you're in the United States. Uh, guys, if Donald Trump actually manages to win, this stock could easily, easily rally 200 percent overnight. Easily. Right. Very, very easily. And that's assuming that we get the final numbers on that night, which. <laughs> I personally don't believe, but it is a good way to, oh, uh, let me just preface this. Of course, not financial advice, nothing in this video is just my personal opinion. Um, you could actually make some pretty cool cash if you're willing to gamble with this company, especially on the trade side. Me personally, I'm not going to do that because I personally see this company as a, as a gamble. Again, not necessarily a risky company. It's a gamble. A risky company would be like NVIDIA, right? Where uh, I thought it was overvalued. Apparently, it's no longer overvalued. The coin is to the discount of free cash flow. Y'all can check out that video. Or even the, the latest live stream where I essentially cover the fact that on the 10-year uh, discount of free cash flow, NVIDIA is essentially a good buy right now, which is crazy to think about. But in regards to this company, we don't have any financial data at all, right? NVIDIA... Yeah, you could say that's overvalued depending on your on your assumptions, but at least we have numbers. Here, we only have 2021, 2022, 2023. That's it. So this is what I consider a gamble, right? Because you have no idea from a financial standpoint, right? From a fundamental standpoint, where this company is actually heading. Essentially, you're buying into this company, and I've said this before when I covered originally DJT, you're not buying into this company for, for this. You're not, right? Maybe down the line, but right now, this company is not for this. This company is essentially to support Donald, Donald Trump, right? It's just, it is what it is. Um, so take that as you will. Again, from a fundamental perspective, not an investment, not an investment in the slightest. 
technicals could prove something different. In fact, on the live stream today, uh, Ghost Walker, he pretty much just said that um, he has, I believe he has like a two-year option on DJT, like, a, I, I believe it's a call option, uh, a buy, a bot call option for two years in advance. And he's planning to pile on some more if this thing gets to $25. And the reason for that is there's a massive amount of short interest when it comes to this company. And by the way, shout out to him on Rumble, Ghost Walker. He's also on the Discord too. Um, really smart, especially when, when it comes to options. Definitely surpasses me <laughs> beyond that. He mentioned that there is a 85% or, or that the short interest is 85% on this company. And I would just like to show everybody that. And as you guys can see right here, as of May 15th, short interest on DJT, there it is, right? This is from uh, Nasdaq.com. Um, short interest is 4.59 million shares traded, right? And the average daily share volume, or at least, yeah, 4.59 million shares shorted, sorry. And then the average daily volume is 5.57 million. Doing this math, guys, this is around 82%. He said around 85, close enough. There's a massive amount of short interest when it comes to this thing. Insane. In fact, on March 15th, this thing was even worse, right? This thing was even worse. So the point to this that I'm trying to make here is that, um, again, when it comes to this kind of company, this is not, guys, it is not an investment. However... Let me know if you guys plan to uh, to do something during election time, or, or at least in November, November 5th, or maybe November 4th. Uh, do you guys plan to do something with this? Because right here, what this just proved, this 8% move on this stock today, it proves that whatever events are happening with Donald Trump, the stock will react. Very, very interesting. I personally think that if he does win, the stock could rally 200% post-market easily very very easily and tell me guys whether or not you plan to do anything when it comes to this in uh, in the month of november specifically november 5th but that's pretty much all i want to talk about in this video again a really short video nothing really to talk about here i could get into the whole politics thing but this is not a political channel it's a financial channel so you know i'm only going to stick to the to the to the fact that trump media stock fell eight percent and the fact that it's strictly correlated to what happens with donald trump so that pretty much does it, guys, for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. It really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well as Rumble. Make sure to follow us on X. And, of course, if you would like to join us on the Discord, uh, ask in the comment section below, and we will um, and we will uh, send you a link over. If you would like the calculators that I use for this kind of free cash and that kind of stuff, that's also a link it's in the description below. It's the first link as well. When you go in there, please make sure to uh, make a copy. File, make a copy, right? Top left-hand corner, make a copy and put it into your own spreadsheet. You guys cannot change the one that I have because that's the one that is available for everybody. I can't have everybody changing it. So make a copy and then you can make all the changes that you want to yourselves, okay? So thank you so much for watching. Peace out. And I guess we'll see you all next time. And by the way, tomorrow we got PCE as well. So that's going to be a really fun video. Uh, it's going to be a really fun uh, overall market deep dive with PCE coming in or at least with expectations coming in in line with the previous quarter. We'll see what happens with that. By the time you guys see this video, it, it would have already been out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, and we'll see you all next time.